Okay, hello. So today I'm going to talk about training. And I'm going to talk about training specifically for what you're trying to achieve. And within that, we're going to look at how you can manipulate the number of repetitions you do on exercises and the amount of rest that you take in order to achieve your goals. Now, I'm very much a big fan of training specifically for what you're trying to achieve. We are what we habitually do. So I'm going to split it into three main sections. The first one is we're going to look at developing maximal strength. So being able to lift the heaviest thing possible once. Now, you need to be training close to what that is. So, I'd be looking at one to five repetitions of a heavy weight, but you also need to be taking a lot of rest. You need at least three minutes. Three minutes is the amount of time it takes for adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is the only usable form of energy in the body. That takes three minutes to fully resynthesize once it's been depleted. So, you want if you're looking to be as strong as possible, you're looking to teach your body to be efficient at producing maximal contractions straight away. So you want to be training in a state where you've got plenty of ATP, you're using fast twist muscle fibers, your central nervous system is efficient, you can produce as much energy as possible quickly. So you need to train that way. Like I say, between one to five reps, low reps, won't go above five really, and rest three to five minutes probably, now, the other end of the spectrum, we look at developing strength endurance, which is the opposite. You're looking to be good at doing repeated effort this time. Fast twitch fibers will fatigue quickly, but if you're looking to develop strength, then that's fine because they're good at producing maximal contractions, but they will fatigue quickly. Strength endurance, you don't want to fatigue quickly. You want to be able to do repeated effort. So you're looking at training probably a minimum of 15 reps, 15 plus, Looking at your rest time being underneath a minute so that you're teaching your body to be effective at doing work repeatedly. I mean, the extreme end of that, you go into traditional cardiovascular activity in endurance athletes. I mean, a marathon runner does thousands of repetitions of a step. And that's, they do that a lot. And they've taught their body to be efficient at doing all loads and loads of work because they do it all the time. And so if that's what you want to be good at, that's what you've got to do. Now, if we come to the middle ground... The best way of developing size and for being leaner is to find a balance between the two. What you need is a balance between causing metabolic stress on the body but also doing quite a high volume of work. I mean, say I take a bench press and maybe I could if I stretch, do two repetitions with say 130 kilos and that would cause a huge amount of metabolic stress and protein degradation to me. And, but in total, I've only done 260 kilos worth of mechanical work there. At the other end, say I could maybe do, for 20 reps, a stretch, maybe 90 kilo, which would be, what, 1,800 kilos of mechanical work. Shoot, so much more work than at the, with the two reps at 130, but not that much metabolic stress to me. I can do it repeatedly. Not protein degradation rate is low. What I want, if I'm trying to build size, is to cause quite a lot of metabolic stress, but also do quite a lot of work. So I might hit the middle where I do 10 repetitions of maybe 105 kilo. So the work is still fairly high, but the rate of protein degradation and the metabolic stress is also quite high. And so that 8 to 12 rep range where you can still lift things quite heavy, but you can do you can do produce quite a lot of work it's the best for hypertrophy for gaining size and it's good for being lean as well now fast twitch motor units produce contractions quickly and they're the ones that have got the potential for growth they're the ones that need to be trained for growth but they also you still to produce hypertrophy in size you need to do a bit more volume than one to five repetitions once you're going past 15 repetitions, you're, you're delving into a lot of slow twitch muscle fibers, which haven't got that much potential for growth, but they're efficient. So you're still trying to recruit fast twitch motor units, but you want to try and produce a lot of work. Hence why 8 to 12 reps is great for muscle growth. So if you want to be strong, 1 to 5 reps, 3 to 5 minute rests. If you want to be endurance, strength endurance, over 15 reps, less than a minute rest. If you're looking to put on size and change your body shape, then you're probably looking at 8 to 12 reps and probably between 1 and 2 minutes rest. Bang in the middle. 
I hope that's been helpful. I'll see you again.